So the first job to do on our um, CAN bus VW Subaru conversion um, is to change the bell housing from the VW one. This is the VW bell housing um, and input shaft. Change it for the Subaru one. Now I'm sitting in the engine bay. We've removed our engine. Um, and this is, I'm inside the engine bay now. Um, so yeah, as I said, this, this bell housing is for the VW. This fits the, the VW block, the boxer engine block. Um, our van had a 1.9 DG water boxer in it. Um, so we've bought the RJES adapter and we've also bought the Subaru spline shaft from RJES. There's a bit of play there. Um, so we need to unbolt this adapter, change the shaft, and then bolt on our Subaru adapter. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So we've undone all the mounting bolts that hold the old VW bell housing on. Um, and now we just need to crack it off. Um, it's not actually been held on by anything now. Um, all the mounting bolts are undone. We've drained all the oil and uh, we just need to crack the, the join. And then this bell housing should come off. That's free that side. It's just on the peg, this side, there we go. Oh, let's see you. Oh yeah, gasket. We don't need the gasket. So there we go. That's the old VW um, bell housing off. And we just need to change the input shaft. Okay, so before we fit our um, bell housing, our um, Subaru bell housing, we need to, to change the input shaft because this spline here is for a VW um, clutch plate. Um, we're going to use a Subaru clutch plate with our conversion. So we've bought this Subaru. Um, <laughs> uh, we bought the Subaru input shaft, which the spline on the end suits a Subaru clutch plate. You can see it's slightly bigger. Um, so we're just replacing this. We've taken off the VW one. Leo's just replacing the the sleeve that goes on the end uh, onto the new one, um, and then it screws in. It's difficult to see down there, but there is a thread. There is a threaded um, shaft right down the bottom there um, that this screws, on screws onto. Uh, so we're just replacing that, and then once that's in, we can then put our new bell housing in place. So it's a bit fiddly, uh, but we managed to get the new Subaru spline shaft in. Um, so now all we've got to do is fit the new bell housing. Yesterday we didn't have any jointing compound, so we didn't actually manage to get the bell housing joined onto the gearbox. But today um, I brought my um, jointing compound up, and so today we're going to fix the uh, RJES bell housing adapter to our gearbox. Um, I'm just gonna degrease it um, and there's my jointing compound. Gonna degrease it, put the jointing compound on the gasket face and then attach it to the gearbox under the van. So that's today's job. So the moment of truth, uh, we've put the sealant on the mating uh, faces of the adapter and the gearbox. So now we've just got to make the adapter up over the new input shaft. Uh, easy as that. Now we've just got to put the bolts in and torque them up. So we've done, we've put all the bolts in and now we're just torquing them up to 19 Newton meters each. Because the gearbox is magnesium so it's really soft. So it's really important that you do these up to the correct torque. So there we go, bell housing is fitted, Subaru input shaft fitted. If we wanted to, we could just bolt our Subaru engine and gearbox, um, engine and, what am I trying to say, engine and clutch on. If we wanted to, we could just bolt the engine and clutch on right now. But first we're going to clean up the engine bay because there's all this rust and crap around it, so we're just going to do that uh, while it's all accessible. So that'll be for another day I think though.